We do controlled burns to maintain grassland and testing out an unmanned aerial vehicle uh, so that we can actually use uh, autonomous technology to do controlled burns for us. The balls will be loaded in this, this basically shoot up here and then they drop into the mechanism. So we'll have it fully loaded out there. So this is uh, good for this because we can ensure that it's safely away from the vehicle before it ignites. We're able to program them to do certain things like visiting particular locations in the field, dropping the balls very precisely. Good, good. This is actually a commercial vehicle, um, but really what we've, we've done is designed the mechanism and all the associated software that, you know, this is the dropper unit. So it's fairly independent of the vehicle. We can reduce woody invasion in Nebraska and elsewhere in the world, and we can reduce danger of wildfire. Over the past 11 years, there's been uh, five different individuals lose their lives in the wildland fire community on on incidents like we're going to be participating in today. So to have an unmanned aircraft system do the work for us to take uh, the firefighters out of harm's way, it, it would be a significant thing.